stay on this topic now and bring in Jonas Philbor, criminal defense attorney and legal analyst. John, it's always good to see you. Can I ask, could the police face any potential criminal charges here for this botched raid? Or if the raid is, in fact, the cause of, of Joanne Meyer's death, how do you see this unfolding next? So not only could the police face some potential civil liability, but they ought to. I, I love listening to your interview with Mr. Myers. I think his message to the local police department should be, I'll see you in court. I mean, we see it all the time. When the police screw up, they don't have absolute immunity. If they bust into your house and they shoot the wrong person, they are liable. This is not that, but it is a case of civil liability because, look, they might as well have just, you, you know, ignored the, the Constitution. They might as well ignored freedom of the press and the Fourth Amendment when they went in there and did what they did. It really smacks of the police are supposed to be, you know, uncover crimes and protect and serve the community, but it feels like they were trying to cover up a crime of their own. And if that's the case, then that definitely needs to be addressed and heads need to roll. Mm, and, and I know you were just hearing Eric saying that he does plan to sue. How would you advise him? What strategy should his legal team take going forward? So in terms of what they actually did uh, uh, regarding the search warrant, the law is clearly on their side. And there's federal law and state laws that essentially, in an oversimplified way, say you cannot seize a work product of a newsroom, period. Now, there are minimal exceptions, which I don't think any of them apply in this case. So the law is there. So in terms of that, People could get fired in the police department, and the police department could have to pay damages for their wrongful conduct. If it went beyond that, Natasha, if there was some sort of collusion, some sort of uh, conspiracy to defraud the court and or the county attorney into getting this warrant in the first place, that may elevate it to something else entirely. But if I can just speak to my condolences to Mr. Myers for the loss of his 98-year-old mother, you know, may we all live to be that long, I don't think they really have a wrongful death claim because of the actions of the police officers in this case. Okay, Jonas Philbor, always appreciate the context and time. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.